There's a reason why you were successful here. <laughs> uh, this, this project started out five or six years ago on a piece of paper and a bunch of people talking about what could be done. And, and uh, unfortunately, it's not our fault these guys aren't turning around and it's not God's fault because the wind's blowing. But Nevada Energy had that fire back over here over the 4th of July. Uh, they've shut us down right now so that they can repair and save the coal. I wish we had a burning to show you. It looks pretty deep when you see 66 pit wheels out here in the middle of the desert turning. Uh, kind of the, the plan for today is we're going to talk a little bit right out here. I'm going to talk about this machine right here behind us. And then we'll trace in through the building and all just go back into the big warehouse. Uh, Housekeeping is perfect right now. Keep in mind that we are still in construction phase. Uh, all the big cranes, those, that equipment's all gone, but, but the guys that are fine tuning these turbines, and, uh, putting the last little spins on them to make them as efficient as possible for us, are all still working here. They're working out of our shop. As you came in the front gate, you saw the big landscape there. At one point, there were about nine portable trailer all kinds of four or five, six The first item I want to talk about today is we have this machine part right here. This is one of our one of our big bat radar pieces of equipment. The reason this part right here is we're waiting for a spot and that's the across the valley over here is parking. We will have this park there and the very further northeast turbine we've got another radar machine that, that's got two spinning, both a vertical and a horizontal spinning. That's the top of the guano, rose guano back tank that's over here across the valley. A lot of concern when we wanted to put a big park in here. Valley Wind has invested several million dollars in this type of equipment. At the bat gate itself, we've got a, a beam brake system to count the bats. Uh, today, we also have a group from a college university group up there, about six kids up there with high speed cameras. So they're studying the bats, the, the travel. Starting at the first of next month, for two solid months, we'll have about a dozen people out here every day searching. Or, or avian fatality. Uh, at night, from sun, sun down for four hours, we will control the, the cut in speed of our turbine. There's been studies done that, that, think, that uh, think that if you wait till there are higher wind speeds to let your turbines start turning, that, that you'll affect that bat population less. So, all 66 turbines for two solid months every night, we will go in and reprogram these guys to different cut in speeds. All the bat searchers will be out here every day checking around all 66 turbines. At, at the end of this this two months, we think we'll have more more bat data than any wind farms ever had in the world. And that's, we hope to use that for good cause. So, so well, I mean, what's, the, what's the purpose of this radar? Is it just tracking the, the, uh, the bat? Yes, yes. It, we've got screens that, as this is running, you can see the bats tracking across there. It, it's sensitive enough that we've got some video of, of uh, seeing uh, in, uh, insect horde or group or whatever you call a bunch of insects hovering around and then you can see the, the bat population going in to feed. Wow. The uh, environmentalists were very concerned about the bats and the pattern has body. accommodated those concerns. I think we've got about a six to eight mile span across the ground and then it's it's going up in the air. And then keep in mind we've got the other one down here that's got 
both a horizontal and a vertical rotating radar device. So when your, rad so when your radar finds bats, um, can you take action to manage the, the blades, the turbines? That's what we're working on. We're, we're working on uh, getting the right data to know where both of us can coexist. <coughs> and we think in, in future times we will have that ability that the radar will actually slow, the, slow or shut the machine. So this isn't just a temporary thing, and these are going to be out here for the long term. We have a, I think it's a five-year project right now, but yes, we think that will be be here for the life of the project. Have you started calculating costs, pattern energy, calculating costs on investments for the back division? We know what we've spent on it. Okay. In terms of like cut-in speeds and reductions, cut-in speeds, and how much that's going to affect your operations? Yeah. I mean, we're, we look at that, we track our costs very closely. <laughs> but in, e even so, wind energy on the grid is, is competitive with other fossil fuels. We have a fixed uh, power purchase agreement with Nevada Energy that uh, we supply our, our power for 20 years. Uh, you know, they have a mandate to, to bring the use of green energy in the state of Nevada up to, we can look at the numbers up there. I believe it's like 15%. 15 by 15, 25 by 25, something like that. Okay. I think we're I'm going to let you talk about that. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have the fighting bats in our birds that may have hit the turbines? I've read that one good dog will find twice as many as a dozen colleagues.